Hi, I'd like to do a little discussion on entropy and free energy, delta G. So I'd like to put up a couple of processes here. The first one I'd like to put up is what I term the cold pack reaction. Ammonium nitrate is a white solid. We buy it for fertilizing. We also put it into what are known as cold packs. These cold packs are brought to ball games. And if a player injures herself sliding into third base or something, they take a cold pack and they snap it. What's happening is they're mixing water with ammonium nitrate and it spontaneously gets cold. So I'll draw a reaction arrow here and write ammonium nitrate aqueous. So we mix the solid with water. And the idea here is whew, our system gets cold. But in fact, it's not really the system. This process is saying that energy is sucked into the system. The surroundings, like the water, the bag, if you put it up against an elbow or a knee where you've been banged up a little bit, that's getting cold. I'm going to make a picture of a beaker and try and show on the molecular level what's happening here. When the solid dissolves, it breaks up into the ions NH4 plus and nitrate. Water molecules have come in and surrounded the ions and separated them, so we have a system going to more disorder. But the energy was brought in to do this. So heat was brought from the surroundings, meaning the air around, maybe if it's in contact with your skin, the bag or the glass beaker, and the water. So the water here gets cold as well. So you touch this and it feels cold. The driving force here is entropy or disorder. So what's happening is delta S is positive positive value because we're going to a system of very ordered solid to more disorder. So I'll make a little note on the side saying more disorder. The system is going to more disorder. And since S is entropy, a measurement of disorder, delta S, the change in entropy, is positive. For this process, delta H is positive. This is an endothermic process where heat is taken into the system. So endothermic. Delta G for this process is actually a question mark. There's a competition going on. This is favoring spontaneity, and this is fighting spontaneity. Well, if we go ahead and crack the cold pack open at room temperature, like out on a ball field, well, it happens. So delta G would be 0 or negative because the process is spontaneous. 0 indicates equilibrium. Delta G being negative indicates the process is spontaneous. Another process I'd like to talk about is combustion. I'm going to do two moles of C8H18 liquid plus 25 moles of oxygen gas go to 16 moles of carbon dioxide gas and 18 moles of water vapor or steam. Now in this process, we do this. This is the trillion dollar reaction. This is octane, a major component in gasoline. So we fill up our lawnmowers, motorcycles, automobiles, generators, engines with gasoline. We burn it in oxygen to produce CO2 and water. So this is a form of combustion. Nobody's in the business that I know of of making CO2 and water. This is not desirable, but we do it because heat is given off. So we do it to form machines that do work for us. Now, in the beginning, we have 25 moles of gas. The reason for that is because these two moles are liquid. This is gasoline, octane. It's a clear liquid. So we have 25 moles of gas and something with great order. When we're finished, we have 34 moles of gas. 34 moles of gas. So you tell me, is the system going to more order or disorder? 25 moles is going to 34. We're going to more disorder. So. Delta S for this process is positive. The system's going to more disorder. Delta H for this process is negative. I'll write down exothermic. Heat's given off. That's what this trillion dollar reaction is all about. Exothermic. Heat is produced. And we know that. We don't go ahead and drive our cars and when we're finished open up the engine compartment and touch the engine. It's too hot. We know all about that. This is favoring spontaneity. This is favoring spontaneity. This is a win-win situation. Delta G is negative, and so this is spontaneous. Mathematically, we can show this with the Gibbs free energy expression, which is delta G 
is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Since S here, the change in S is positive, I'm going to put a positive sign underneath the delta S term. Temperature, always in Kelvin. So temperature here is going to be a positive number always. And here, delta H is exothermic or negative. So I'm going to put a negative sign here. We have a negative value for the first term. We have a positive value for the second term, but it's being subtracted. So a negative and a negative, the consequence is delta G is guaranteed to be negative and this is spontaneous.